Good afternoon, Spartans. This is Superintendent Miller with another episode of Riding with Rob, and we have a really special guest today. In fact, he should be here any moment. Uh-oh. Let's let's see who this is. Somebody's getting it. Oh, my goodness. Hello. It's Santa Claus. Well, hello, or Superintendent. Superintendent. I called you a principal. <laughs> Merry you Christmas. too. Old Saint Nick. Yes, sir. It is great to have you. It is great me today. to be here in Bixby. Wow, you're a long way from home. I am. It's uh, quite a ways to get down here, but I've been uh, been down here recently, so I'm yeah. back here today. Been down here checking lists, checking them twice, checking that them kind twice. Of stuff. Yes, making sure everybody's right. been nice because it's not always about being mm. good or bad. Everybody's got a little bit of good and bad in them. It's if you've been nice. Okay. And it's it's never too late to get on the oh, nice never. list, right? No, we still got thirteen days till Christmas, okay. so you've got twelve and a half days to get on that list. That's reassuring. Yes. <laughs> oh, I've been days. watching you. You're, you haven't been too bad. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> so, uh, tell our viewers what's been going on at the North Pole. Is it a pretty busy time it's, of year? We we started ramping up about a month and a uh -huh. half ago. Um, we have one thousand one hundred sixty four elves at the North Pole. That's a lot. And, uh -huh. Yes, that's why Mrs. Claus usually is not with us. She's up there taking care of them. So they started building toys and, and getting everything ready. Uh -huh. So they're in full full what we call Christmas mode now. I imagine it's pretty busy. I know I've got some grandkids here in, in town, and one wants Hot Wheels. I assume yes, you're making the Hot Wheels with the tracks are one of the big yeah. big things this year. One of the biggest things I've heard about is a Plato school bus. So watch uh -oh. out for that one. It's, uh, it, I don't know. It's something school bus with a bunch of Play Doh and rocks. Okay. They had a little boy busy. asked for a rock. Yeah, he okay. said he collects rocks, so I told him he'd get a rock. All right, there you go. <laughs> so, and, and I know Barbies probably are. Barbie, every LOL year. dolls, American Girl, Bratz, yeah. all of them. <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, what happens? Um, I know Christmas comes. You're doing a lot of traveling that time of year. You got all the reindeers. I, I'm sure you got them all going through fitness programs. Oh, yes. And stuff. They're, they're all doing their practice fly runs now. Okay. So, Spangles the Clown. We, he's a clown on his off time. We he, we never get away. Really? Call him I haven't the heard of Spangles. So. Spangles the clown. Okay. He's the number three elf, and okay. so he is in charge of flight training for the reindeer. So they're out. They go out about eight in the morning, and they practice flight till about noon, and then the rest of the afternoons, treadmills, things like that, to get them okay. and, and stability for when they're on the roof, so they can keep their balance. So they get all that training. Yeah, they're pulling a lot of weight. They, I mean, well, I mean, toys. I'm in the sleigh, so yes. <laughs> well, not just you saying. <laughs> well, the, not, remember, the bag's toys. magic, so it's not that heavy. Well, I completely yeah, forgot. It's a bottomless bag. See, I'd never had a real deep conversation with right, of before. Course. Yeah, so. it's, I'm kind of divulging a little bit here. Yeah, That's okay. It's, it's about time the secrets come out. <laughs> All right. So... Um, do you and Mrs. Claus, do you exchange gifts with Christmas as well? Um, we typically try to. Usually I get Mrs. Claus nice jewelry, and um, she's I'm very sure happy with that. that. Yeah. And then uh, cookie tins. She, she buys me little cookie tins, or she bakes, and I get cookies for Christmas because I, I, I can't ever have like cookies. cookies. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a favorite kind? Um, yes. But you don't want to sit? You don't want to no, no, it's They're all my favorite. Oh, they're, they're all your favorite. Yes, favorite. Oh, we've got, oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, See, we, I get spotted everywhere. Yeah, we get people. <laughs> You're pretty recognizable. I am. I am, and uh -huh. it, it's a kind of a big to do. When I pop up, people start getting excited, or they freeze like a deer in headlights. The little ones usually do that. Yeah, they yeah. just like they come around a door and they see me and they just stop. Pretty intimidating. I know my grandkids if they watch this, they're going to be just excited that they I. They will the be, and, well, because you know Sam. That's, that's the big deal. That's pretty true. Now you got my list right of the things I want. I believe so. Yeah, it was pretty long. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. It, it's in the uh, extra large stack. <laughs> All right. That sounds great. So um, is this going to be kind of the biggest Christmas you've had up to this point? I know we got a lot of boys and girls around the world. Um, I mean, every year we start getting bigger and bigger, and I, this year definitely it's the biggest. So I think we've, we've, of course, hit another milestone worldwide, and we've got the most people around. Wow. And so... After you're done and all the reindeer have come back and you've just delivered all the gifts to all the boys and girls across the world, 
Uh, what do you do that next day? Well, on December 26th is when our vacation starts. Yeah. And it's, we just make sure everything's put up and away. And then we take, um, we don't have a sleigh for it. We have a plane for this one. And me and Mrs. Claus usually Bermuda, Cozumel, so, somewhere like that. I got to get a little sun, some vitamin D sometime in the year. That is what, well, you're looking great though. For well, Thank uh, you. Yeah. You're several hundred years old, correct? 464 uh, years old. 464. You look pretty good. I hope well, you'll be uh, looking quite this. It's all about good. your diet. Like I slimmed down. Mrs. Claus uh -huh. has me on a keto diet. So okay. it's all about your diet. Eat well and you look well. That's fantastic. And the beard's looking good. Yes. Yeah. Brush daily and you can have a beard like Sam. All right. Do you have anything else you'd like to share with our viewers? Uh, or boys well, and girls like, like we said this? earlier, we've got just 13 days until Christmas. So uh -huh. you've got 12 and a half days because that half day on the 24th is when the list stops. Yeah. And then we reset for next year. So the best thing to do, like I said earlier, it's not about being good or bad. Everybody's going to be a little good. Everybody's a little bad. <laughs> but you have the choice to be nice. So if you're nice, then you're definitely on that list. Right. And that's, I, I guess, kind of as a final question, the true meaning of Christmas from the man himself. Uh, what does it, what does this day mean to you? And what's the message you would like to share with all of us about the meaning of Christmas? Um, the meaning of Christmas for me is definitely love and family. And so one thing I want to say is cherish those that you have close to you and and don't be afraid to let them know how much you care and buy them all the gifts because, you know, it's better to give than receive them. It is. And we all recognize the true meaning of Christmas and where the holiday came from. So yes, we do. Uh, as families celebrate that very important event, um, then it, it is all about taking care of each other, it taking is. care of our family and having that great time. Yes. Santa, I can't tell you how excited I am to have this opportunity with you and to spend a few minutes and learn some of the trade secrets. Uh, I'm not going to try and take your job, though. It seems pretty complicated. <laughs> now, um, I'll retire in about 150 years, so. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. Do you I have somebody? Too much. Are you grooming somebody to take I'm, over? I'm watching. I'm okay. really watching. It's all them good boys and good girls because it doesn't have to be a boy or girl anymore, you know. Yeah, that's true. I'll it's only be 200. It's spirit. I'll be 210 then. So Okay, I'm, so you got probably 50 more years because it takes 110 years in, of elf training to begin with. Wow. It's a big, long process. <laughs> I don't know if I can make it. but <laughs> It is not for the faint of heart. It, it's not. And, you know, my job on, on certain days yours is difficult, but, but yours is... Uh, See, me, I get to go in at midnight when they're sleeping and quiet. Mm -hmm. and you, it might be a little odd if you try to do that. So how about you <laughs> do yours and I'll stick with mine. And we'll make everybody happy and take care of these kids. That is fantastic. Thank you, Santa. And on behalf of Santa and all of our Spartans, uh, from our families to yours, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. We'll see you back on January 3rd. Santa, best of luck over the next few weeks. You're going to be you. super busy. And uh, remember, Hot Wheels and Barbies for my grandkids. Yes, I got them on the list. And you, you know what's on my list. So. Yep. And all I can say is go Spartans. And uh, continue being one of the number one football teams in the state of Oklahoma. You know about that? Well, everybody knows about wow, that. Wow, that's way up at the North Pole. Way up at the North Pole. That's amazing. Thank you, Santa. Thank you, sir. All right, have a great Merry holiday Christmas. time. Bye. Bye.